Uh, George Papard mm -hmm. was, was Banachek. 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 I'm going to have to look this up. And he wasn't up. even with the cops. He was like an insurance guy. Interesting. Like, yeah. Insurance yeah. guy solving crimes. Yeah. Well, he would solve insurance claims. Like, people would claim, Wow, oh, what a fun <laughs> show. <laughs> so, no, like, someone stole my diamond, and he would prove that they stole their own diamond. You know? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Wow. It was a cool was version of Columbo. Or oh, my gosh. Okay. Oh, still on this. Well, yeah. on a completely different topic. <laughs> I thought we were talking about intelligence. Yeah, yeah that's right. Great. I was all excited. Well, maybe yeah. this, this won't be yeah. any more intelligence. Aluminum foil. Yeah. Aluminum foil. <laughs> we need more aluminum foil. The, uh, the royal baby was born. Oh, and here we go. Uh, aluminum yeah. foil. Put yeah. <laughs> on your head. And the excitement still hasn't died down. Um, it hasn't. No, it no. really, it still, <laughs> well, for you perhaps it has. No, but really, I mean, they, the, now all the talk about um, when Kate came out with the baby um, and she still had her mommy belly because she had just given birth and of course you don't become, you don't get a flat belly in 15 minutes after the baby no. goes mm -hmm. away. And Unless you're chasing really? coca. Unless you're chasing yeah. coca. Um, <laughs> uh, and you probably did. Um, <laughs> that, you know, oh, it was so, it was amazing for moms everywhere so people could see what it was really like and I mean, of course she looked unbelievably amazing, sort of stunning. I don't think she gained a pound during her pregnancy other than you know, the baby, the baby, baby itself. Baby. Um, but it's, I mean, the talk of all this royal family stuff, the fact that I know everything I just said mm -hmm. is, is Pretty crazy. Impressive. And it's been, I mean, every day in the news, there's still more articles, there's Twitter everywhere, royal family talk. And it's yeah. it's become bananas. We had there's been some great um, and in fact on the national there was some great discussion about the fact that they literally had cameras set up watching those hospital doors for I don't know how many hours. They had full crews, reporters, et cetera, sitting there. And we were talking about the full gamut of media from around the world sitting there waiting for the two of them to exit the hospital. Why do we care? So like the same amount of coverage as their wedding. Yeah. Pretty much. Yeah. She still well, had a live birth. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. Maybe that footage is yet to come. Yeah. But there, yeah. So I don't. I, I can't remember where I saw it. But somebody produced a front page that said, "Woman has baby." Because really, is that mm -hmm. not? I, yeah. it, how many other women had a baby on that same day? You know, none apparently. Zero. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. The and weird that's thing really about sad, it, yeah. though. Can you imagine if you were the poor child born on the same day as Prince George? <laughs> yeah. Like, who cares? Well, and, and now the town. <laughs> Even your own mother doesn't care. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I gotta watch care. TV. Can you imagine yeah. being like on that same line of thought? You know, you're another family that's had a. I had a kid that day, and you're, you know, strolling out, and the the royal family hasn't come out yet. And all of a sudden, you're coming out like this, yeah. and just the Aww. throng of people, Aww. and then being like, "Hey, Ew. this is Jim." Yeah. <laughs> like, it's not them; they're not important. Yeah. Yeah. No, but, but everyone just this big sigh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. but really, this the fact that the focus and attention has come back on the royal family once again, like like no man's business. And actually, cameraman Michael Byfield and I had quite a discussion because he is British and I asked him like why do we what is the big deal and he's quite passionate about the royal family mm -hmm. and as as an Englishman he he feels that they do have <laughs> it's, why all, are because all Englishmen love the royal family. he does though he, he says he that does, there's that it's not, um, <laughs> that may not be universal just like not all of us in it's Canada love really hockey not. but well, it is there is much a much <laughs> broader sacrilege. appeal um, in England and mm -hmm. he was telling me about you know, while they are a figurehead now, as opposed to you know being able to make any decisions, there's no more off with your head, you know, mm -hmm. as decreed by the king. That we know about. That we know yeah. about. Mm. Really, it's more about promoting charity work and whatnot. But they, I mean, it still is such a huge fabric or part of the fabric of British society, and that he was quite excited about it, and and still feels very passionately, and has lived in Canada for most of his adult life. Mm -hmm. uh, so, I saw a really really cool photograph. Um, maybe six months ago uh, that someone took of the Queen in her little uh, living room and it said that there was an article with it that said that this photograph had done more for public relations for the royal family than anything they had done in the past like 50 or 100 years because it showed the Queen in this little tiny humble room that looked like any old lady's room sitting in her little rocking chair it was it was apart from the palace where, where everyone normally sees her it showed her out of her own element and it really humanized her and it was mm -hmm. a really cool photograph in it and nice. And I'm shocked yeah. that it even got out there. Yeah. I know that when, uh, well, when I think the, it was planned. Like they wanted to find a different. They, they were like, but it's, it, it's not working when we say the queen's awesome. The queen's awesome. Everyone love the queen. But then they showed her as a human, and people were like, oh, she's a person too. 
Yeah, I, it's a just surprise just from based on my very limited experience, but when the Queen did come, um, what, I guess about three years ago to Win mm -hmm. Hague, um, mm -hmm. I mean, you, as, as, a, as a person covering the event mm -hmm. in the media, you had to be, you had a million and one rules yeah. about what you could shoot, when you could shoot it, it, what to do if she approaches you, all of these things, right? People are really... Mm -hmm. Like wound up tight, but I didn't get the sense that she was wound up tight. So no. she felt yeah. weird standing like, up on the stage. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, she did. She nodded off. There was I, I can't. Uh, we've all done that. Yeah. <laughs> in front of I forty thousand people. I was there. I don't remember her sleeping. But no, no. They, they, yeah. There was there's um, a couple of uh, who saw it up close. Actually watched her kind of that mm -hmm. kind of thing. Like that she actually did. She had she was standing with her eyes closed for a. Not a long period of time, but mm -hmm. she, that she nodded off yeah. uh, standing up on stage. Oh, it's a long day. It's a long day. Yeah. Well, and to she's be fair, she's like, like 150. Like, yeah, no, I know. <laughs> like, I'm just yeah. saying, though, that, yeah. I mean, I fall asleep like that sometimes. I was going to say, I do that I'm not meeting every day. Exactly, yeah. Well, I, you <laughs> well, know, I think, again, it, even since Lady Di and when she married Prince Charles, I think that whole kind of romance and, I guess, you know, loyalty to royalty yeah, was rejuvenated. And I don't think it would be the same if it wasn't for Di, because I, I, I agree with you. Like, yeah. I think yeah. that she, um, when you talk about that humanism, that's what, she that's what Lady Di brought, yeah. right? Yeah, she and, um, She opened that whole charity yeah. thing, and uh, she opened the eyes to the royals, I think, of mm. the problems that were existing in their own country. But then people were, there was the whole Shakespearean tragedy with Charles and Camilla, and you know, like with her and yeah. how and then, you know, of course, the tragic way that she died, there was a lot of, I feel like, negativity surrounding and towards the royal family when that all happened. Because now, with Will and Kate, they're treated with so much, I feel like, so much more respect than Diana ever got. And mm -hmm. that, and the, the, when they ask for privacy, they yeah. get a little bit, I mean, now granted, there were topless pictures of Kate mm -hmm. out yeah. not too long ago, but yeah. that was very quickly, Quelched, like it was. It, that didn't. Um, maybe there was perhaps. a lot of anger, and it just kind of went away. But I believe it's because it's in uh, the photographer and uh, the newspaper. I believe I, I heard this on the radio not uh, not too long ago. I think there was like a breach of France. I think it was it was in France, correct? I can't. I'm remember. pretty sure it was in France, and uh, it apparently it breached some sort of privacy. Uh, law, so that, that's why I think it, it went away so quickly, and now I think that photographer is Sarkozy is the only one we want to see topless. <laughs> exactly, that's right. Absolutely. <laughs> but really, I think it, I, to bring it back to Lady Di, I don't think the Brits really understood, I guess, what she she brought until they lost her. Mm -hmm. And I mean, under a little bit of Hollywood sensationalism, the whole divorce, and yeah. and you know, and her actually trying to find a life again. If it's anybody else, who cares? But it's Lady Di. Mm -hmm. And I think that she left a lot of, um, she broke a lot of hearts. Look at all the, the tremendous outpouring mm -hmm. when she did die. And I think now it's kind of like they have their second chance with Will and Kate. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, let's make, you know, it's almost like they want to make this marriage and this family what Lady Di and Prince Charles maybe should have been. Mm -hmm. um, and I think it's important that we all sort of are interested in the royal family too because if we lose interest in the royal family then think of all the decorative plate makers that are going to go out of <laughs> and business. Spoons. And spoons. Exactly. Uh, we still have the Pope so don't worry about it. Okay you're right. There's so many decorative <laughs> good, plates good, with the Pope yeah. so you're, we're fine. Yes. Yeah. And he wears nice shoes. Sure. There you go. <laughs>